blast injury related concussion in uh, the military's uh, view seems to be that it's a more complex injury than the single blow to the head sports related concussion that we understand better. There are grading scales used by certain military services. So for instance, the Marines, meaning the Navy medical personnel that care for the Marines, grade concussions in a way that's very similar to a merging of the Colorado guideline and the American Academy of Neurology guideline with a three grade scale. Um, but the definition itself that's Defense Department wide doesn't use a grading scale. And it's intended for all types of concussion, blast related or biomechanical injury in a, in a crash or whatever. So there isn't necessarily a distinctive concussion grading or assessment for a blast related concussion that's different from any other type of concussion. The, the grades of concussion in the scales that um, have been merged and used in one sense or another in, in the uh, Navy Marines system would be the mildest form is uh, an alteration in mental status without there being a gap in memory, so no amnesia, or unconsciousness. So it's a person who's fully awake the entire time but recognizes or other people recognize that they're not tracking what's happening around them. So a confusional state is the neurological term for that particular threshold of grade one, if you will. Grade two would be something a little bit worse in the sense that there's either a gap in memory, which is one way of looking at it, so there's a, there's a post-traumatic amnesia, or they have lingering symptoms related to the concussion that go on for a span of time, and that's somewhat arbitrary. The Academy of Neurology said 15 minutes, Others had said more or less. Grade three would be witnessed loss of consciousness, and by that we truly mean paralytic coma. And in either grading system, it's the same that way, that there's actually a witnessed loss of consciousness such that even the individual, the person with the injury, wouldn't know that they were unconscious. They just have a gap in memory, a span of time they can't account for. So it requires, a, for a grade three, it truly requires that somebody else witness them truly being unconscious, even if it's just momentary.